Hi, everyone. I am really excited to be back at Ferment this year. The last time I was here, we actually announced the formation of our company, Arkea. And so it's really awesome to be back here talking about a product that we just launched just 18 months after I was last here. That product is called Centark. So for those of you who don't know us, uh, we are a biology-first beauty company. And what that means is that we are working with a whole slate of biology-centric technologies, and we are pointing them at large product categories like deodorants. And you might think, this is not really a sexy category, but guess what? It's a $25 billion category that has been relying on the same underlying science since its inception over a century ago. Basically, masking smells using fragrances, uh, blocking or absorbing sweat, and then killing things using antimicrobials. But more importantly, I don't really know that many people that love their deodorant. It is a low NPS score category. And so the reality is, today we know a lot more about deodorant than we did back then, thanks to biology. In fact, we know that body odor is caused by certain microbes in the armpit and not others. And so we wondered, because microbes are living things, just like us humans, they're highly influenced by their environment and what they eat. And so we thought, could we design food for them that made them act in a specific way? And in this case, it was to make them not produce these smelly compounds. And that is what we did with Centarc, and I'm going to tell you how. So first, we collected lots of microbes from lots of armpits. We then sequenced all of those microbes, and specifically, we were looking to understand which of those microbes have the capacity to produce those smelly compounds we don't like, and which ones do not. Then we worked together with Ginkgo Bioworks, basically accessing their high-throughput automation. What we were doing was screening tens of thousands of different nutrients against all of these microbes to understand how they would behave differently and how they might produce odorous compounds depending on the nutrients that they're fed. Then we fed this into a machine learning model, and we started training that model. We were basically asking this model to predict which combinations of these nutrients would result in that behavior that we were looking for, basically the lowered production of smelly compounds. We iterated a lot to improve the accuracy of this model, and then we finally tested it on humans. 87% of participants in this third-party study said that Centarc reduced the production of odor throughout the day, so prevented the formation of odor throughout the day, and that is without ingredients that you're used to seeing. So that's without baking soda, without essential oils, without things like magnesium hydroxide or fragrances. And so today, uh, just a few weeks after launch, Centarc is already being sampled by deodorant formulators, hundreds of them. And so that means that deodorants with Centarc are coming to shelves near you probably within the next 12 months, which is really exciting for our team. And in reality, we look at biology and Centarc really just being the beginning. We see biology being an entirely new ingredient palette for us, and we call it expressive biology. Um, upstairs on the mezzanine, we have a couple of samples of deodorants formulated with Centarc, as well as some other product categories that we're pursuing like sun care, so I hope you can go upstairs and check it out and say hi to our team. Thank you so much.